Hey Ryan here, thanks for tuning in to the latest TikTok video for Warframe and Chill. Um, sorry I've been on, haven't been on in quite a while. Um, mostly it's because my P, uh, PlayStation 4 that I had had conked out on me. It bricked on me while I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2 um, on it, so I, must I didn't have a hard chance. Yeah, I think it was the hard drive that went out or something like that. But that left me without a PlayStation 4 to be able to play Warframe and all these all right. other, you know, the other games. And, but, you know, there was a bunch of shit that was happening, you know, that I got busy with. And, like, that kept me from getting a replacement the PS4. But everything's good now. I just got a PS5 recently. The, one of the newer, slimmer uh, models with the disk drive, so everything's good. And so I've been playing Warframe for quite a bit. I've tried the PS5 version of Warframe, which is pretty good. I love the, the, that it takes advantage of the adaptive trigger option. But the problem was it kept cra hard crashing my PS5 for some reason. Like, it, after a couple minutes or whatever, for grand size, it was just the uh, hard, the uh, PS5 would just hard crash. Like, it would just lock, freeze, and it just shut off. Like, this game would black blank, and then it would just shut off, and then I had to turn back on again. And, wait for it to do a disc check or fix its SSD storage, whatever, for for it to start up again. And it was getting annoying. So I've been trying to using the, the, the PlayStation 4 board. version of the game, which you see right now, and everything's been working with any issues. So it's kind of weird. I'm guessing that's a bug for the PS5 version. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I'm right now I'm running a mission to collect cryptographic LUs. They're running, they didn't, Warframe has a Razorback Armada event going on. I have two Razorback ciphers built. I need to build one more so I can go and kick the Razorback's ass and collect the support and catalyst. And, uh, after beating Razorback three times. And it came out a new update, Whispers in the Walls. I just beat, uh, completed that quest last night. And it was really good. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait for the the more of the story to be added. I think they're going to add in another update. I think they're going to add more to the story in 2024. I'm not sure when in 2024. Um, but they definitely, but at least the Whispers in the Walls quest was really interesting. They added a bunch of new missions. They added, uh, I think, the, this new enemy called the Murmur. Um, and they added a couple of different missions, like new mission dice to the game. So they added more to, so it's like this more game content and Warframe just for player you know warframe players to to just sink their teeth into you know it's just amazing that this game is it's not only lasted so long this game's been on uh been on since 2013 and it this has gotten better and better and better and better and added more features that for getting more content you know they they're tweaking the features of the game to make it make it better it's pretty cool. Then these, uh, I think it, I think D's also working on another game called Soul Frame, which I'm not sure when that is coming out, but I definitely want to play Soul Frame. Definitely, <laughs> definitely when it comes out, I'm definitely uh, playing that game. I'm not sure if they have a founders pack for that, but I might, if there is, I might get that just, just to, to help support the game. You know, because I. I missed out way, you know, on for the founders back to Warframe. That's because I didn't start playing Warframe until like 2015. But it's alright, it's alright. Let's see how much time. Okay, four minutes, eight seconds. I'm gonna try to complete this in ten minutes. If we, if it doesn't, we'll just uh I don't even have to split the date, edit the beta, and split it up in two parts. I don't think I'll put the time limit on this video uh, for the recording. Because TikTok right now is, is set limit is 10 minutes. There's a heavy unit approaching. I wish it could be like Defense YouTube where you could make the video as long as you need to. That would make it a lot more convenient. Like, especially for me, like, with some missions, like, there's, uh, like, survival, um, interceptions, excavations, or railjack. Usually it would take longer than 10 minutes to complete that, to complete those missions. So, a lot of times, it, you know, it'd be nice to have, to be able to make a video that, you know, could run for longer than 10 minutes. Kind of like on YouTube. 
But it seems like on TikTok I have a little bit more traction with getting views on TikTok than YouTube for some reason. Kind of because I have a bunch of vacuum videos on YouTube, but I kind of I cast myself as a vacuum cleaner and nerd to post videos about it. And so right now I'm doing some um, farming for cryptographic AUs. Once I make, once I build the three Razorback ciphers, I'm gonna do the Razorback cipher things. I might do different videos on that, you know. Or more, depending on how long it takes to to destroy a Razorback. I have the data. Move on to the next target. Yeah. There we go. That looks on my ass. And if the mic quality sounds terrible, I apologize. I'm using the dual set. I have the, I'm using the dual sense controllers mic built-in microphone. And this so it, the sound quality mic from the mic may not be as crystal clear or as good as as it is in the other videos. That's because in the other videos I was using a headset. So I have to, so I'm going to have to get a headset for my PS5. Uh, I'm going to see what kind of headset I can get. Hope I can, you know. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. I'll have to look see what kind of headset I um, can you know, get, 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 whatever. So this is a relatively easy mission to do. This is actually really good if you're looking to get field samples or if you're trying to collect filter examples, or in this case, cryptographic LEUs, this is really good because there's a lot of enemies that will swarm you and also will swarm the satellites. This is it. Defend the satellite while I extract what we need. And so, since they like to swarm your ass and try to swarm the satellite, try to destroy it, you get a lot of, a lot of targets you, that you can blow up and take the cryptographic LEUs from them. So that works out. And I got my Pedro Vandal. I like this gun because it reloads really quickly. It doesn't take much to spool up and like when you when you let go of the trigger, it automatically refills the ammo. Kind of rechargeable weapon, almost like a re kind of like a battery type weapon where you let go of the trigger and uh, ammo replenishes, refills back up. That makes it pretty fun to use. Can't wait to do the ghoul purge. You be on that too, that way you can see my necromech in action. That's a lot of fun to, that's a lot of fun to do. See what I mean? Mission accomplished. Proceed to your landing craft. This almost ten minutes. Let's see here. If I can swim between the things down there. Fuck it. We're just gonna race to the visual. I don't care if you shoot at me. Let's see that's how we can make this video get this video in on time. And if I don't, if I stop crashing into things, I can actually get to the extraction point. Here we go. All right. Oh, energy field. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I got three cryptographic areas, so I'm gonna have to do another run on this. But I will do. I'll do that in a little bit. So. I'll post another video up on here. Um, I'll do. I'll post a video up on here once I get ready to do the Razorback Armada. So stand by for. So stay tuned for another video to pop up. I'm going to make the next video in a couple of minutes. So until then, see you soon.